Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your October general reading. I hope you are doing amazing. As I said, this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everyone, and that's cool. Check your moon rising or Venus. I'll be more than happy to do a personal reading for you. If you like, that link's in the description box below, or you can go to the website up above. I'll be more than happy to help you out. Also, I'm on social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon. If you want to get these readings super early or any uh, extendeds that I put out. So, we're going to jump right in, Sagittarius. Something you've set up in the past, something you have created in the past, probably without you knowing, um, is coming back to you. This could be a person. This could be a job opportunity, something like that. But some, whatever it is, you had a hand in this Sagittarius, so it ain't, it ain't just coming out of the blue, I can tell you that. And really, it's going to be up to you whether or not you act upon it. I see you having a choice here. So basically, what you wanted is here. <laughs> okay, Ace of Cups. Oh, look at that. Ace of Cups, Queen of Swords, the Hermit, Four of Cups, the World. Oh my God, Justice. Four of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Page of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. The Wheel of Fortune definitely talks about change. It talks about kismet situations. Beautiful. I just feel like your time is here. It's like your time has come, Sagittarius, right? Uh, but with the Knight of Swords, it tells me that it's coming in fast, coming in quick. So you got to jump on it right it's one of those things where like you're not gonna have time to think about it i mean not to scare you but it's just like oh it's here for this brief amount of time so okay um definitely new beginnings ace of cups the world card the will of fortune is in that too um Some of you have been in a love relationship that's getting boring. Um, I feel like it's getting boring. Or your love life is getting boring or someone may have ghosted you and you're just don't you just don't care about it anymore. <laughs> that's a weird thing to say, but you just don't care about it anymore. Um I'm seeing up here that you went through something where there was some sort of new love or something you were super excited about and you had to cut it out of your life. It's not that you wanted to do it either. It's just that it's what had to be done. Um, I feel like you making some sort of sacrifice for yourself, Sagittarius. It's like you made a sacrifice for what you had to do for yourself. You had to do this for yourself, for your own growth, your own comfortability, your own whatever. And this was a very smart move for you to make. And it it, it gave you like a new, they showing me Boy Scout badges, like a badge of wisdom. Okay. But, um. Yeah, I feel like whatever... I feel like there's something boring though. I don't know why I keep getting this boring energy. Like it's not complacent. It's just like, oh, I thought it would be better than this on the other side. I thought it would be greater than this on the other side. Um, but it's just because you're in some sort of transition of closing out the old. 
And right, it's like you have to close out this old mindset about what love used to be, what um, how life used to be before all of these changes started happening. Right. So it's like you need to live in the present moment to see what it is that you do have. OK, and that's what's going to make this situation fair. So this is what's interesting. It's not about a new beginning coming into you. It's about you like cutting off old energy or old mindsets and then seeing your present life as something amazing because it is, you know, like you have all these new opportunities and new situations that you could be in if you would just get out of the old frame of mindset. So I see you doing that. <laughs> I literally see you doing that Sagittarius um, and being very happy where you are at the present moment. You know, um, I feel like you are busy, like, clo like not closing things out, but just kind of balancing things till it gets not a peaceful resolution, but it gets uh, comfortable. That's what I'll say, comfortable. But there is some... Yeah, you're learning as you go. I feel like you're learning as you go. This is definitely a realization that what you asked for is here. I said that at the beginning, but that's exactly what this reading is about. Okay, let's pull some Lenormand. It could be a love offer too. I mean, it could be an offer from the universe. It could be a love offer. It's just like what you're looking for is here. I keep hearing that. That's what I'm going to keep saying. So clouds, dog, coffin, anchor, clover, fox, key, scythe, and tower. Yeah, this is your lucky break. So what it is you were looking for is here. Uh, I feel like in the past, you really put some energy into making whatever this is happen. So whether you know it or not, it's not like you currently invested in it. It could be something from months ago that you forgot about that comes back to you. I don't, it just feels that way to me. It's something that you thought was dead. It was gone. You, you let it go. You cut it off. Um, some of you, if this is a person, feels like this is a slick situation, like you can't trust them or something's going on. Um, I'm not going to answer that yet, but that's that's what I feel like you think something's going on, like it's a trick of sorts. Um, I also see someone being confused or not sure of someone's loyalties. Even though they've been around or even though they have something that they do that's consistent, you don't trust them. I don't know why that is, but you don't. And you're going to figure out why here soon. I feel like um I feel like you figure out why. So that's that. If you think oh, Sagittarius in any of this any of October, the beginning of October that something doesn't feel right, you will see what that is. It will be revealed to you right off the back. So I wouldn't be too worried about that. Okay, but you're starting to see now that... Yeah, this is going to sound really cliche, but the key was with you all along. So um, you're going to stop looking for something and... You're going to start looking, stop looking for something outside of what you have and start looking within what it is that you have. And you're going to find what it is that you need, what it is you needed to start over, what it is you needed to see. That's what I see. And I see you building off of your knowledge. This is like a drop in the the hat of, of things you're going to learn, but it is still an important lesson. What is this? I don't know. 
this is so general. It could be a job coming in. It could be a love relationship that you asked for. Um, that you wanted someone back and seeing that, you know, if it's going to work out, if this is the person for you, if it's not, but it comes back around for you to, to do that, which is a blessing. Um, it could be you moving somewhere, um, trying to establish yourself and like figuring out what neighborhoods are good and what aren't, which ones aren't, it could be anything. It literally could. Um, so use that general energy to your advantage, okay? But I'm going to pull some oracle cards. Ooh, look at the first one to come out is perfect timing. Yeah, this is your time, Sagittarius. It really is. It's like you need to be awake to how beautiful this moment is right now. That's a really important friendship. Leo also had this as well. Not in the same position, but um, yeah, let the new beginnings in. It's like pair with the universe. Allow the universe to know what the universe knows, you know, and just go along with it. Stop trying to fight the grain pretty much. And clarity, planning and releasing illusion. Yeah, like I said, you're gaining knowledge and you're gaining wisdom, Sagittarius. And sometimes that does come with conflict and heavy energy. But um, this, whatever's happening in the first half of October, it's all the change you ever thought you needed, pretty much. Um, and now is your time to act on that. Okay, I love you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.